Hey, welcome to Summer Timber Graphics. I'm George. This video will be slightly different from my usual type of videos because we won't be using After Effects nor Premiere Pro, but we'll be using FL Studio, an application for professional music creation, in order to create that AD audio effect. I've done the research on this topic and found out that about 95% of the tutorials claiming to teach you the proper way to create an AD audio effect are complete misinformation, and what they teach you is not even close to an actual AD audio effect. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you a proper way of creating that spinning AD audio effect, and make sure to watch this tutorial till the end, and then go ahead and compare the my method shown in this video to some other videos out there, and just see for yourself, you be the judge. So now, let's get to the tutorial. As I've mentioned, you'll need an application called FL Studio. You'll also need a plugin that I'll leave a link in the description to. You can go and download it, it's completely free, and it's an official plugin. Once you install the plugin, go ahead and launch FL Studio, and you'll be greeted roughly by this layout. This is similar to the timeline that we have in After Effects or Premiere Pro. We'll be adding a song here, then adding a layer of a plugin, or let's think of it as an adjustment layer. So once inside here, let's go ahead and add a song. So I'll be using this non-copyright music for whatever reasons. You can, of course, hold your control and use your mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. So pretty intuitive. Once inside the application, go ahead and find this view mixer button and click on it. And you'll see this window. You'll have different slots, very similar to the effects control panel that we have. So let's choose slot number one, click on that. You'll see different plugins, but what we need is more plugins. Click on that. Then scroll all the way down until you see Sennheiser MBO Orbit. So double click on it and you'll see this window. And all we need is this circular slider. This slider basically changes the direction of this of the sound that it's coming from. So We'll be using this slider to create a the audio effect. So by default, it'll be set to zero. All you'll need to do is to drag the slider to any point, doesn't really matter. Then click on this blue value, set it to zero, press enter. Once you do that, go ahead and click on add. And here you choose automation for last week parameter. Click on it and you'll see that we have a new layer created. Okay. Now let's go ahead and select the slice tool here and let's cut this newly created layer automation clip at four seconds mark, just like that. Then select the paint tool and right click on this bit to get rid of it. It's an excess we don't need. Then zoom in nicely. Now we need to create keyframes. As you can see, we have one keyframe at the beginning. We need another one at the end. So right click at the end here. Then you'll create a keyframe and then click on it, left click and drag it all the way up like that. Then drag the start keyframe all the way to the bottom and create this ramp that's going up. So let me give you a preview. So I hope you're using earphones or headphones because this effect doesn't really work with speakers, although you in theory could you probably heard that the audio was spinning going around so that's the effect we're going for and at this point all you have to do is to create the, the multiple copies of these automation clips all the way so that they cover an entire length of the song so very simple hold your control and just drag it select the automation clip it'll turn red then click control b and this will create a duplicate, place it in front, and just keep doing that all the way to the end. So like that. And then if you say you don't need this part here, you can just grab the slice tool and cut it here like that. So at the back, the paint tool and click on the excess, right click, it'll get rid of it. Okay, so let me give you a preview once again. I hope you're getting the idea of what we're doing here. So these are automation clips that make the sound change direction. So one automation clip makes the sound make one full rotation or spin. And whenever one finishes, we'll have another one that makes 
the sound rotate again and then another one. And this continues all the way throughout the song, therefore creating this AD audio effect. And every big successful channel on YouTube or whatever it is that's producing AD audio, AD music, is using this effect because by far this is one of the easiest and the most proper and legit ways of producing, creating AD audio effect. As I've said at the beginning, after watching this tutorial, go ahead and watch other tutorials that are probably using Audacity and telling you to play around with left and right channels and that's a D audio effect. Yeah, go ahead and compare my methods shown in this tutorial to those ones and just see for yourself. You'll be just laughing and you'll understand how ridiculous it is. So I really hope that you learned something new. And if you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. That really helps me out a lot. You could also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to. Yeah, it's free. You can always change your mind later. And at this point, the tutorial is complete. I'll thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your attention. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.